LC Walker Arena. If anybody can fix a Zamboni or two, give us a call right away because I think we're in a position to need it. An inauspicious beginning, Phil Russell. <laughs> well, I hope it isn't uh, uh, set the sights on what's going to happen this weekend, but we've got a few problems here. And But the guys know at this level that these things happen in all the buildings. It's not just us that... Uh, we have delays, different things, obviously, and a, a schedule of 82 games where you travel from San Diego to as uh, far west, uh, far east as, uh, I guess, here and down into Fort Wayne. Things happen along the way, snowstorms, different uh, situations. So we, we pride ourselves in being uh, uh, re really resilient to uh, what happens. The guys are in the room. It's, uh, I feel sorry for them but they're, because they're all ready to go. Both teams are ready to go for a good weekend of hockey here in Muskegon. And and uh, they're all looking forward to it. As soon as we get the ice done, we'll be all right. <laughs> we talked with you earlier this week about kind of a key weekend. Likely you're not going to catch Fort Wayne, but you got the 4-0 shutout from Dobson last night, and now you have the best team in the league here tonight and again tomorrow. How significant? I mean, obviously you want to win, too, if you can, but how significant in terms of the overall goals of hitting stride going into the playoffs? Well, you hit on it right there. I said February was a disappointing uh, month for us for a lot of reasons. Obviously, uh, Fort Wayne got a little too far ahead of, for us to catch, but we, we sort of, uh, we had injuries along the way. Different people are still out of the lineup, and Jeff Daniels, Perry Gancher, Sandy Smith, but we got a lot of help from Pittsburgh in sending down Ken Priestley and, and Jamie Leach, who are certainly uh, uh, very, very good talents at this level. With Kansas City coming in this weekend for, the, for our two games here, uh, we sort of speak of it as March, all right, we'll send the message for the playoffs. Uh, we want to be ready, get our boys healthy, even back playing the, uh, what we call lumberjack hockey, uh, 60 minutes of competition, and uh, we're looking forward to it. One of the things that you see, in particular in the minor leagues, like the CBA or in the IHL, somebody goes up to the NHL, somebody comes down, and all of a sudden the complexion of a team can change at just the right or the wrong moment. Is that something that you're counting on? Well, I certainly are counting on Ken and Jamie, to, uh, which uh, they have already in, in the uh, game against Salt Lake City. They're going to make a, a big impression on, uh, for the rest of this month and going into the playoffs. Uh, we pride ourselves, I guess, on being reaction. We react to what happens. Uh, the NHL is action. There'll be different people traded, different people moved. But uh, obviously, if there's injuries up there, we may lose these two guys before we even get into the playoffs because they're next, they're next in line to be up in the National Hockey League in the show. Uh, but while we have them here, we're certainly going to uh, take advantage of that. And you're absolutely right. They can change the whole complexion of a team. Just a couple of key players. It, uh, with the calendar line now, with the Priestley line, we've got two very solid lines. Uh, Mulvano with Major and Laddish. Uh, a solid checking line, a grinding type line. So uh, unlike the NHL where they can go 18 and 2, meaning 18 forwards and... Uh, uh, pardon me, six and twelve. We we are at sixteen and two, where we're two players under that amount. So obviously, whoever's in the lineup is very important for that night, and and the people that we have here, we believe in. We're going to let you go here. Maybe you and I can push the Zambonis collectively. But the last question, and maybe one of the most particular pertinent questions, you've been dealing with for part of this season the rumors, the reports about relocating. Cleveland, Dallas, who knows where. As a coach, you've got to deal with that and basically tell the players how to deal with it. So how do you deal with it, and how do you tell them to deal with it? Well, I believe that any time you can be in hockey, it's like a Friday afternoon, whether you're a player, whether you're a coach. So keep smiling, come to the rink, work hard. We have no, uh, we make no decisions on where we go as a coach or, or players of the team. Just make sure that the time that we spend in whichever city it is, is, is time well spent where these guys are, are building their, uh, their foundations to play in the National Hockey League, whether it be in Muskegon, whether it be in all these other cities that are mentioned. Uh, we just keep making sure that we play to the best possible ability and keep a smile on your face. Are you able to do that? Absolutely. We love West Michigan, though. All right, Phil, thanks for joining us. We're going to call a commercial break. We'll push one, pull the other. We'll get you going here pretty soon. Sounds good. All right, Tom Cleary and Mike Forbes are upstairs. They're waiting to call the game, so let's send it up there uh, to them.